I haven't seen her for nearly two weeks. Have you spoken? <laughs> she phoned the night before last. At what time? Oh, I got home about one. She must have called just after that. Did she mention any problems or difficulties at work to you? Was she worried about anything? She never told me anything about her cases. She didn't want me to worry. Did you know her undercover address, Richard? No. Her covert telephone number? No. Richard, there's something we need to ask you. It would help with our investigation into Jill's death. It would assist us to hide the fact that Jill was a serving police officer. So even though she's dead, she still has to be undercover. We need to keep it from the press so we can go back to the villain she was dealing with, trying to find out what happened. How long for? A couple of days. I have to talk to her mom. Naturally, we're trying to locate her now. <laughs> I know, I know Jill would want me to help you in any way that I can. Thank you. There was bruising to her body from two weeks ago. Fractures in the ribs that healed up sometime in the last five months. Some shitbag would be knocking her around. She didn't say anything to you. What could have hit her with? A doorstop that's six centimetres wide. That's like the size of a club hammer. Was there a toolbox in there? Give it a rest. What? Stop beating yourself up, Murph. Thorpe's team are handling it. Look, go home. Oh, yeah, I got some sleep. I know one. No! Call me first thing. I will do. Look after yourself, Murph. She called her a couple of times on her mobile. They must have traced the number. Any idea who did it? No. I told her that place wasn't safe. Bastard crackheads. Didn't Tracy see it coming? Taking a piss? No. She does see things. She had a dream that night, but... She's auras, all kinds of shit. I'm going to go back and see the man and see if he's still up for it. If he is, do we still have a deal? Oh, no. I don't know. Did you have any family? She said her mother was dead. I want to sort things out for her. I need the money. Ever were we your man, give me a call. Thanks. to come down here. The old Bill must be onto you. Where would the old Bill be onto me? Because that slag of yours is stiffer than my pole. You watch your fucking step, Jack. Were you shagging her? No. If his spunk's all over her sheets... We don't want your shit on our doorstep. I'm in the clear. The deal's still on. Don't tell me Levine wasn't impressed with the notes. 
You still got the money? Let me make a call. The quality of the paperwork has to be exactly the same as the samples. Absolutely. Make your call. And where are we meeting? Give me an hour, I'll call you back. Yeah. Who's your mate? Who's yours? He's the guy holding the 750k. I've never done business with you before. He's back up. You mean he's armed? <laughs> Might be. Let's see the notes. Let's see the money. What's going on? You want to see the money? Stupid. Let's keep counting. Car. Exactly are you, Mr. Murphy? Who are you? Please, stay facing that way. Now, why have you come to this area? Make a deal. Make a living. What? The policeman's wage is not enough for you? Fuck you! You know, I'm sick of this bullshit. Bring him here. your fingers one by one now let's see you turn up from nowhere place a large order and then kill one of my trusted workers I don't kill her she's one of my oldest friends are you trying to muscle in on my territory 